please be upstanding for the arrival of the driving party. my partner in crime. 
together we are complete. Comfortable to do so. Would you please stand to show your support for the couple at this time? I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness. To witness. That I, David William Bone. That I, David William Bone. Do take thee, Michelle Louise Thompson. Do take thee, Michelle Louise Thompson. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness. To witness that I, Michelle Louise Thompson, that I, Michelle Louise Thompson, do take thee, David William Bogue, do take thee, David William Bogue, to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. It is therefore with the greatest pleasure I can now declare you are legally joined together in marriage as husband and wife. Congratulations, Dave, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> twice a week <laughs> right thank you very much everybody for coming to uh, help us celebrate the marriage of my youngest daughter Michelle to young David um, <laughs> you'll be <laughs> hey there we go yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. as yeah. close yeah. as he's going to get right? <laughs> <laughs> just like the gags say uh, a funny thing happened to me on the way to the wedding in that when I was locking <laughs> When I was locking up the lodge to come out and I've got these big shoes on that uh, I've not really worn before, uh, right in front of the cameraman who got his camera lens on, I fell right over it, arse of a tick, right over it. <laughs> and he missed it. He missed it. Ooh, yeah. 250 quid gone down this one of Now, so if you would please be standing. <laughs> And my first toast is to the bride, Michelle. So the toast is the bride. The bride. <laughs> and it's a great pleasure to say, Mr. and Mrs. Bogue, the bride and groom. The bride and groom. I thought I printed it big enough so I could read it. <laughs> I've got wine nice, that's all I'm saying. I'd like to thank Paul now, my father-in-law, uh, for his moving speech. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I expected it to be better than that. But, you know, but I'm not going to dwell on it, because I know he's up for another one later on. So we'll see what happens with that one. <laughs> so, by the time I actually finish my speech, yeah, I'm hoping that you've all got full glasses, because there's a lot of toasts. And you're all going to be pissed and you need taxis to get over. <laughs> right, so that you guys all look amazing. Thank you. But it does show a little bit of effort does go a long way. Right. Keith, mate, top notch. Yeah. Dale, Dale, love the air. Right. But mate, you're not well coordinated. Mel, you did it. Well done. Well done. Well done. Yeah, and be off with my beautiful wife and my good looking self, of course. Yeah. I'd just like to say a big thank you for helping make this day such a special day for both of us. So I will now hand you over to Hear No Evil, See No Evil, Speak No Evil, the three best men. So I'd like to open the speech up by saying thank you everyone for actually turning up. And then also I hope you've enjoyed the day so far and you'll also continue to do so as there's been a lot of build up to this big day, as well as Shelley, the brides that are over here pulling her hair out as well. <laughs> when she was younger, she was known as a silent night. That's the only time she was quiet. <laughs> so I, father, don't sit there so comfortable. I'm not. I can remember, I can remember the first time you picked me up from camp, and I was like, hmm, something's wrong here. Because his car didn't smell of stale fags and wet dog. <laughs> and then, after a lengthy drive back, we get back, first walk into the house, I instantly knew certainly something was really wrong. Because there was the colour pink and the picture frames on the walls. I was like, right, he's either been seduced by Carl, or he's got a new missus. And then, 
later on in the night, thank God, I found out it was a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you followed the bog off, you know, buy one, get one free. Well, yeah, buy one, get two free. <laughs> but anyway, you, you, since you've got together, you've always had that spark. And it's lovely to see that that spark you two's always shared has brought us all together as an extended family today, like we're sat in this room now. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, we lost Byron, but we all know how much we used to enjoy walking together, even sneaking out at six o'clock at night. We <laughs> 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 three together, both all got together and thought, we will get them some gifts, because you all got us gifts. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, don't worry, there's no lube in there. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, so as you grow old and decrepit together, I think these gifts will more than fit in to help you get on with your lives together. And there's three wise men. I'm the wisest, yeah. obviously. <laughs> Tell you about ego. <laughs> <laughs> these gifts, I think, are more appropriate. T, keep it quiet. More of a gift for us than anything. <laughs> D40, you know, better get us a better hammer and, you know, <laughs> stop it squeaking. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, uh, for the <laughs> uh, I wasn't too sure where you bought your own, so I thought I'd help you out. <laughs> yeah. uh, as we all know, you've been waiting on a big check from uh, Paul. Yes. For the price of Shelley. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think it's more than fitting that today is when you receive this gift. And right over there, we have a large. <laughs> Yeah. 